purpose of this video is going to be to show how to do a project registration on the staking app. Um, so first you want to sign in with um, whatever uh, wallet service you've signed in with, you've created an account with. So in my particular case, it's uh, MetaMask. So once you sign in, um, you should be able to see this My Projects window over here, which helps you keep track of all the projects that you want to register. You can register a new project by clicking on the register a new project button and search for your project within this search bar. You want to understand and agree to the terms of use for the tree protocol, which include, you know, not spamming certain GitHub projects and repos with incessant PRs to try to get them to register on the platform. The point is to sign up legitimate projects to earn rewards on them. Uh, so for this particular example, say, um, I'm just going to learn a test project, which is a project that I've put into our dev database. It's got a git source URL. I am a maintainer of this particular URL, which is a check that we're doing and we're blocking registration in case you're unable to um, uh, prove that you are actually a contributor to that particular repository. Um, if I click on next step, essentially your project uh, constitution is the thing that needs to be made. Uh, so on this screen, you can select the other contributors that you want on your project. For example, if you've got a couple of other maintainers with whom you maintain this particular repository and you'd like to invite them as well to be as part of the protocol, um, to be a owner of this particular project, this is the screen in which you can do that. Note that you can change this once the project is configured. This just represents the initial configuration of the project on the network. Uh, and also note that... Uh, you know, if you have a maintainer who's not on T, you can't really add them from this particular screen because we search them by uh, T usernames. And you can also set the quorum. Effectively, what's happening underneath here, so what is quorum, is we're deploying a safe contract for your particular project, which is a multi-sig wallet, which allows all the people who are the contributors to be signers on the safe, which means that if the safe were to, say, transfer tokens from uh, its own treasury into other accounts, it would require a sign, a, a signature from each of the people listed as the contributors. Uh, so in this particular case, I'll just register it with um, myself. Uh, so I'll go on, great, click on the next screen to finalize registration. Uh, and then this is very important, uh, is that this is the YAML file that effectively we needs to be pasted in the um, root of your repository that you're trying to register. In my case, that would be github.com slash uh, my particular uh, repo. Um, this warning is very important. It's generated by our app. Uh, if people try to remove this particular warning, the registration of the project will fail. Uh, that is to say, we validate whether the presence of this message exists or not exactly as is, so it shouldn't be tampered with. Uh, and over here, uh, you know, this is the new version of our constitution. And then code owners represents the addresses that are going to be signers on the safe. If you remember in the previous screen, I just selected myself. If I selected multiple, there would be additional bullets here. And quorum represents the minimum number of people required to transact with this particular account. Uh, so you have a couple of options here. You can download this file or you can... Um, uh, copy this and paste it directly to your clipboard. Um, and what's next is to add this particular file to your, to your project's Git at the root repository. Uh, once you click on this validate constitution button, our uh, service will automatically check your particular repo to see if it's there. Um, and if it is there and configured correctly, we will create your project treasury and finalize the registration process. Um, so I'm going to copy this particular uh, message and then I'm going to open, uh, this is the test project that I've got for the purpose of this demo. I'm just going to edit this file in line, put exactly that message here, the changes. It's important to know that these changes need to be directly on the main or the master branch, the default branch. Um, so commit directly. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. If I come back here and I click on validate constitution.
So what's happening here is on the back end, we are actually taking a look at um, this particular project constitution, making sure everything's okay and looks fine. And voila, everything was. I don't have any available balance, but here is the project of mine uh, that has an address now. You can put this address on our block explorer and you should be able to see it. Uh, in fact, I should be able to take this particular address and send tokens from my MetaMask from any EVM compatible address. And if I have um, any tokens inside here, I should also be able to transfer them out to say any contributors. I can add or remove contributors as well from the screen. Uh, it is important to note some um, restrictions exist right now on the way we're approaching wallets, namely that um, uh, right now we are not um, offering all of the multi-sig capabilities from within the app. That is to say, if your project has a quorum greater than one, meaning it needs more than a single signature in order to transact, you can't use our app in order to do that just yet. This is a thing we will release in the coming future. Uh, for now, uh, N equals one safes works just fine. You're able to add contributors and um, add to the treasury. We're thinking about adding staking next, so be on the lookout for that. Um, if you do update the quorum um, while you're adding or removing contributors or you do set it to two, uh, you can still um, uh, use the app. You just need to uh, do it from safe.t.xyz, which is the um, uh, the safe UI for um, our particular L2. Uh, what you have to do in order to use this is connect the wallet that you've used to sign into the staking app uh, to the safe app as well. So if I use the MetaMask, uh, which I think is right now connected to the same one, 3679, um, let's make sure. Yep, 3679, uh, there we go. So this is my other project. And then if I wanna look at this chess project, that's E847, E847, perfect. So over here I can, I can compose transactions, I can, you know, add signers and remove signers. And if your quorum is greater than one, you can always fall back to this particular URL, safe.t.xyz, in order to uh, transact on um, this, uh, transact for this particular address. So that's a summary of how to register your project, a description of some of the restrictions that are currently on this app. Uh, in terms of managing multi-sig as well as staking. Those are things that hopefully we'll be uh, releasing soon so you guys can get your hands on it. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, as always, feel free to reach out for Discord uh, for any questions.